gloves for sale at the tournament, so kids want to buy them. Um, they're a little stiff off the shelf, so what we do is help them break them in. We're one of the few companies that do that for the kid. Um, what we do is just focus on the hinge parts of the glove that make it stiff when you first get one. Um, it's just a process of breaking it down, beating it. The same process we do with our college teams as well as our MLB guys. So every company is going to have a little different philosophy. They know their leather, we know our leather. Um, what we do is just focus on the hinge points of the glove, which is in the heel, which makes it very stiff as well as up on the top of the, the web. Um, so what we do is just use our mallet and our pounding pad, and then another option that we have is the steamer that we have. And that just opens up the pores of the leather. It's like you play catch for three, three to six months. Um, just helps speed it up. But with our MLB guys, we just use our the mallet and our muscle, but really just focus on the hinge parts. Um, if you look, we have a lot of room on a baseball, on a, on a softball glove here, but if you look at the catcher's mitt, we don't have as much room on the heel part, so these take a little bit longer than a fielder's glove. So catchers usually take a few more minutes longer than an infield glove. I always like to beat it, and you could see from the video earlier, I was kind of bending it in some weird shapes and some weird forms, but I always came back to hit it always back to the shape that they use when they play, because um, that's the key. But really, it's just breaking down the lace a little bit, so it's like you play catch for a couple months. Um, really, any of these gloves on the table, we can get ready for them to come play uh, today, same day. They can purchase the glove, and in 15 minutes, I feel confident they can go use it. One thing is just, they just kind of just jump into it too quick and just get, up, get frustrated because they can't close it. I think a big thing is you see to soften it up. Um, and then when you store it, I think it's the key is when you store them just to wrap them up so the fingers touch, put a ball in it and wrap it up. Uh, that way it keeps a nice pocket in there. If you go inside, it changes the pocket either way. So you want to just keep it here, keep a ball in it. If you don't keep a ball in it, I recommend you just set your glove down like this. Um, if you set it like this, gravity is going to weigh over time and you're going to create a taco. You don't really want a taco, you want more of a burrito. So keep it here, um, just place it like that. If you do put it in your bag, before you wrap it, maybe stick it in your helmet so it keeps its shape. You don't want to get it smashed down. Okay. That's what I recommend.